Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Time for another midweek shave. Turn this out, can you see it? The camera's picking up, it's quite a bit of growth there. A um, bit different today. Got a bit of a brush review going on here. Got it here in the uh, John Shaves Super Soaker. It's not this brush here. Here we go. It says, I know you don't have to soak synthetics, guys. There you go. That's the Simpson Trafalgar T3. There's a sovereign synthetic fibre, handmade, Isle of Man. That's a T3. The T3 being a 26mm, T2 being a 24mm, and the T1 being a 22mm. Uh, I thought I'd give, I like the look of the, the 26. I'm getting into 26. I've moved up like from 24 to 26. They're becoming my new favourite. So I've just got like a little bit of hot water in the cup there. The razor we're going to be using is my favourite. I don't use it near as much as I'd like to. Probably get it off. Macur Progress. Uh, we've got that there on setting two and a half. It goes up to five. Not to five, I've got it up two and a half. And I've got the blade already in there to save a little bit of time. And the blade I'm using, courtesy of Flash Boredom, is the Rainbow Razor. Love these Flash. Superb blades they are. They're probably going to become one of my top all-time favourite blades. And super, super smooth. Good clean shave. Nice and sharp. Soap we're going to be using today. Sterling Sweet Stuff. Can you see it, guys? Now, my daughter, the shave chick, bought this. Because it's aimed at women. She opened it. Oh, my word. Caramel, vanilla and white musk. Uh, she said, Dad, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Um, I have a smell of it right up my street. I love caramel. My favourite scent of all time is vanilla and white musk. I've got many, many aftershaves got white musk in them. Uh, it does smell what what some people would call more feminine. It's a light scent, you know. Uh, that white musk is quite feminine, I find anyway. But, um, but let's be honest, guys. Come on, scents don't have sexes, do they? I mean, some scents appeal more to women in some sense appeal more to men but scents don't have sexes do they you like what you like uh, and i like this stuff and it's a sterling soap as well so i've got no qualms about using that and as a matter of fact many many occasions in the past when i was a younger man and me and my wife used to go out drinking and restaurants and clubbing and so on i would often put her um perfume on because it smelled better than the aftershave that i had got many compliments as well so i'm only using that today I finish off a bit of aqua velva musk, stick with a musk theme, um, an EAD balm. It's got sandalwood in it, that's got quite a musky scent to it, but like a light musk, I think it'll tie in well with a light white musk from there. So let's. Um, I've wet my face actually, I've wet my face again. You can probably see. Oh, blood red. I'm actually having a shower after my shave today. Um, so putting all this stuff on and then having a shower but I've got plenty and I enjoy it anyway so come on let's have a ding dang do there you go remember the white musk I have actually used this white musk before and thoroughly enjoyed it uh, somebody asked have you ever had a video on the on one of the groups have you had a, a video and you, it's just been no good and you've not put it up or, it, or something like that and I replied yes just last week and this was the soap that I used um, and when I watched the video back uh, one it was one before that was the sound but with this particular video I had in mind I watched it back and the autofocus had just put like a white haze over everything it was ridiculous anyway loving this brush never used this before but I can tell you now loving it already okay let's crack on see what happens here Synthetic Trafalgar T3 by Simpson. Oh yes. Yeah, love it. Love it. Tell you what guys. If you're after a bit of backbone. This is your... Uh, the shortcut break. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Does indeed. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's all right, you know. They weren't scared to go for the backbone on that. Oh. They put that there. Oh, they did, yeah. That's got a, a lot of backbone. I wonder if it'll soften up as I go along. They being in synthetic, I don't know. But anyway, look at her progress. On two and a half. Here we go. I don't know, I think I've got Superman's beard guys, because that doesn't seem to be doing. I think we're older, I get. A lot of them more coarse. Oh, well, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll carry on with it. Because we're already halfway through it now, aren't we? So, how is everybody doing? How are you doing with the lockdown? How's things going? There's uh, talk of things moving in the right direction now and they're easing some restrictions and so on. Hey, did you see Paul H films this morning? He used that cube and he used it. <laughs> he used it like a salt. It was really good. And when he put the brush on, and started swirling my word. See, that, that cube had never appealed to me because I don't bother with pre-shares. But it appeals to me now because I'm going to get it and use it like that, like a soap. You use it like a shaving soap, guys. Go over. Check it out. There you go. First pass on. That's not too bad. It took a fair bit off, guys. But I remember when I first, you see, how your face changes, the older you get. I remember when I very first got that progress. Uh, blather up for the second part. I remember when I very first got that progress, for about the first year. Uh, number one was fine for me. All three passes, number one, got a really tough year. When I actually had to start dialing it up. couple of years back it seems like I hit 50 and then bang uh, my beard hair just said oh we're going to change to iron filings now <laughs> so there you go but um, this I love this absolutely I love the look of it I love the feel of it I love the quality of it I love the shave of it Brilliant. Anyway, yes, yeah, somebody was saying in one of the comments as well. Um, they use a Gillette Mac 3 and they've had a better shave than they'll ever get from a DE. Good for you. I don't believe it, like. I was using Gillette Mac 3 before I switched. I switched because of money. Uh, but I'll tell you what, guys, about two years ago, I went and bought a Gillette Mac 3 just to see if I was missing out on something, just to see if I could get a better shave. And do you know what? The end result was pretty much the same as with the DE. I think I got a close, smooth shave. It wasn't as close as a DE. It, it really wasn't. But I'll tell you what, the effect of it on my skin was horrible. I've probably said this in videos gone past. It didn't feel like I was shaving. It felt like I'd found some device to try and just scrape the hairs off instead of cutting them off. Um, and the afterfeel. And then just the process of shaving 
every stroke it just felt horrible horrible disgusting feeling and then even afterwards poor shirt when i put the balm on i just i remember saying to my son the dc shares that was horrible horrible experience don't want to do that again so but you know if you get a good close shave with cartridge razors and it works for you no qualms no no problem with that but for me it just feels soulless as well it really does Yeah, that could, that's, that's, see what I mean? That's took it right down now. Look. Yeah. That's near flipping BBS out, guys. Oh, anyway, so what are you? What are your plans for the week? I've got a job coming up at weekend, guys. Uh, and I've been sat in my chair for eight weeks. And now I've got this job coming up. I'm absolutely dreading it. So what I've been doing, I've been doing a workout in my bedroom. And I've been trying to stand up because the muscles in my back are aching now. I've been stood up for about an hour now. And the muscles in my back are aching. Uh, I'm just trying to get prepared for when I go back to work as well, you know. And just get moving, you know. I know it's okay, like, oh, don't be lazy, get out and go for walks and all that, but you know, when you're on lockdown, on one thing and another, just takes it out, you know. So, you'll see me Saturday morning. <laughs> And I'll probably be absolutely exhausted. Anyway, yep. Okay, all we'll other mittens. Alright, guys. Yep. Yeah, the usual suspects, guys. Well, I always get it, even after I've done this tidy up. See, it's not going to be. Yeah, well actually it will, yeah. Let's get a few last little straddlers. There you go. That's it. Oh, that's another one done, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, got some new subscribers which I'm all excited about um, please click the subscribe button help grow the channel I really do appreciate all your your views and your likes and your comments all helps to grow the channel oh right we're we gonna do now we'll put some aqua velvet musk on absolutely love this stuff wanted a bigger bottle but I can only ever get it in that size really so there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells lovely. Yeah, goes well with that white musk as well. Oh. And put a bit of balm in. EAD. We get this in a budget store in the UK. Do you know what? It smells fantastic, guys. It really does smell sandalwood. Uh, and it performs really well. And it's a pound. I don't know if it's meant to be more expensive. But it certainly feels it. I'll put a bit, a bit too much on there, but oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it smells fantastic. A bit up, up the arms, rinse the hands off. It's like Sesame Street, this, isn't it? <laughs> Dry my hands on the towel. Right, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. The brush, love it. Uh, Twenty pounds, well spent, free delivery. Can't argue with that. Good, a lot of backbone. 
Um, yeah, I'm impressed. I'd buy it again. I'd recommend it. Simpsons Trafalgar T3. There you go. Uh, and I would recommend those rainbow blades as well. Thank you, Flash. Stay safe, everybody. Jimmy, look after yourself. Jimmy, I might see wet shave has been in hospital. Uh, look after yourself, bud. Thinking of you. Take care, everybody. Please click like and subscribe, like I said. Keep safe, and I will see you Saturday for the weekend shave. Bye-bye.